The 5-2-1-2 YouTube, probably the best five-back formation on the game. So because of that, you are going to want to use balance on the defensive style. I would not use press after possession loss or pressure on heavy touch at all. I think ever since they dropped the latest patch about three or four weeks ago, pressure on heavy touch and press after possession loss has been nerfed into the ground, YouTube. I mean well and truly into the ground. So because of that, I would stay well away. I much prefer balanced, a balanced style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. I just prefer that for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy it, fc24 coins check out mmoexp.com link is down in the description below use the code wolf at the checkout for five percent off your order but before we get into the video youtube drop this video a like for me drop a comment down below and if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel that would mean the world to me also i hope you have a happy new year or had a happy new year as we are now in 2024 2024 and i hope 2024 brings you everything that you desire thank you youtube now the defensive width you are are going to want to go a little bit more narrow but not as narrow as some of my other formations the reason being in the 5-2-1-2 you don't really need to go as narrow as you would normally be because you do actually have five defenders so i have gone down to 45 on the defensive width i really 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 like the 45 width i like where my left wing back and my right wing back are in general i like where all three of my center backs are when we are using the 45 width they're not too wide but they're also not too central either it's really 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 op and something that i think Think more of you should really be looking at using that 45 width when you are using a five and a bat formation. That's what I'm talking about, by the way. Going a little bit more narrow really does help with our defending. The defensive depth. Now, this is where it does get a little bit interesting. I've gone quite aggressive with the 5212. I've gone all the way up. I say all the way up. I've gone up to 60 depth. Now, if any of you don't know why that will be. I am a very aggressive FIFA player. I always like to get in my opponent's face and all of that good stuff anyway. Nice. Winning the ball nice and high at the pitch. It's why I do go a little bit higher with that 60 depth. But when we are using a five of the bat formation, we can definitely afford to be a little bit more aggressive than we would normally be. So I would probably normally use like around about a 55 or a 57 depth. But because we do actually have five defenders, of course, in the 5-2-1-2, we can afford to be very, very, very aggressive with our defensive depth because we do have the defensive cover when we, when we lose the ball and also our opponent playing balls in behind. We've got that defensive cover anyway. So that's why I am using the 60 depth i would recommend you use it as well the offense is build up play and chance creation i am going to go into zero detail with that youtube you guessed it balance of diet passing the absolute bread and butter and it will be all this year as well so get your toast get it buttered get your margarine on it get your jam on it get whatever you want on it because it's going to be balance of diet passing now the offensive width i actually do go a little bit more narrow so i go down to 47 <laughs> on the offensive width i basically really 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 like where my left wing back and my right wing back are in general but i do just want to make it a little bit more narrow just so that my left wing back and my right wing back aren't literally just hugging the touchline kind of just that they're two or three yards in inwards from the touchline it just means that when we lose the ball we're in a really good position to press and also we then have the option to cut inside with our left wing back and our right wing back anyway if we don't if we don't want to abuse that byline meta players in the box of course i'm going to go into zero detail it's going to be seven more players that we have in the box youtube the more likely we are to score a goal it is very 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 simple and your absolute bread and butter believe you me more players in the box especially when we're using a five and about formation actually we do want to get as many players in the box as we can so having that seven players in the box on that graphic really does help i then lower the corners down from three and three to two and two i always do that youtube always have done and always will stops us getting counter-attacked on from our own corner so Custom tactics done. Let's get into the player instructions. Now, both my strikers are on exactly the same thing here, YouTube. Now, the 5-2-1-2 is an elite formation defensively. We need to get it right going forward. And I have to admit, the 5-2-1-2 is actually brilliant going forward as well. Especially when you have all the player instructions that I have on these players as well. It really, really, really does help. So, both of my strikers are on stay central and getting behind. Yes, your absolute bread and butter. Stay central and getting behind. Beautiful, beautiful eyes, oh, beautiful. And again, having the two strikers in them central areas of the pitch, really, really, really helping there. You win the ball back nice and high. Perfect. Basically, I want my strikers in them central areas of the pitch. Very, very, very simple, really. And also, I want them making runs in behind. That's what I want, YouTube. I want my strikers in them central areas of the pitch and making them penetrating runs in behind. We don't need them to drift out wide because we have our left wing back and our right wing back to do that. The strikers 
stay within the width for the 18 yard box and make them penetrating runs in behind. The Cam is probably the most important player in this formation YouTube, probably hands down. So the Cam, everything, and I mean absolutely everything goes through the Cam. So the Cam probably needs to be your best player on my RTG. It is of course my Neymar, I love him. The Cam is then on stay forward. And get into the box for cross. The get into the box for cross. I cannot express to you how important that is for the cam to be on getting to the box for cross. When your cam isn't on getting to the box for cross, I just feel like they don't score enough and they don't create enough opportunities. Having them on getting to the box for cross just gives us another attacking outlet. Gets the cam gets the cam involved in the box with getting goal goal scoring actions, getting assists, getting into goal scoring opportunities as well. So 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 needed. Now the two central midfielders. It doesn't matter if you want to flip this but I have my left centre mid is my more attack minus centre midfielder so my left centre mid is then on getting to the box across and cover centre so my left centre left left centre midfielder will make penetrating runs into the box and get forward and help out a lot in the attacking third of the game very 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 important that my left centre mid does that but Samuelito stay central and getting behind on the two strikers there's my left central midfielder hi <laughs> perfect that's what I'm talking about again by the way Left central midfielder getting to the box for cross really, really, really does help. He will score, well, he or she, whoever your left central midfielder is, will score a lot of goals for you, believe you me. It doesn't matter if you want to flip that, just as long as then you're more defensive minded central midfielder. So for me, my right central midfielder and my Yaya Torre is then on stay back while attacking and cover centre. So my right central midfielder, my Yaya Torre, will be playing in like that Rodri role, that Bubakar Kamara role. He will just kind of stay there, win the ball back, kind of plays like an actual number six in a CDM. Whereas then my left central midfielder will kind of play in like that Odegaard role or like that Douglas Louise role where they uh, where they do have license to get forward and get into the box for cross. So they will get a lot of goals and a lot of assists. It's very, very, very important. Again, it doesn't matter if you want to flip that, just as long as one of your central midfielders is on getting to the box for cross and cover centre. Center, and then the other one is then on stay back while attacking and cover center. Now, last but not least, my right wing back and my left wing back. Probably the most important player instructions you can have on the 5212 is having both the left wing back and the right wing back on join the attack and overlap. So both my left wing back and my right wing back will make overlapping runs on the left hand side and the right hand side. There's the right wing back on join the attack and overlap. Is he going to score for me? He is. And my opponent is going to rage quit out of here. Again, having the wing backs on during the attack and overlap. So, so, so important for you, YouTube. I cannot express it enough how important it is. We'll be bombing on down that left-hand side and that right-hand side, providing us the width. And that's why another reason why I have my strikers on stay central and getting behind, because I get a lot of the width provided for me by having my left wing back and my right wing back on join the attack and overlap as well. All three of my centre-backs, completely default settings. And then last but not least, my goalkeeper is them on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there is my brand new updated 5212 custom tactics video for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, YouTube... Please drop it a like for me, drop a comment down below, and if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. I hope you have a wonderful 2020 24. Peace out. One love.